From the Home Slice News Center, this is The Daily Slice for Thursday, August 1st of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. The Highway Patrol is reporting two motorcycle fatalities this week as the annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally officially begins Friday. The first crash Tuesday afternoon killed a 73-year-old man in Butte County when his Harley-Davidson trike collided with a Chevy minivan that had attempted a left-hand turn in front of it. A second fatal crash happened on U.S. Highway 85, 13 miles southwest of Cheyenne Crossing, Tuesday evening. The patrol says a 53-year-old female was killed when the motorcycle she was riding crashed while negotiating a curve near mile marker 3 of U.S. Highway 85. All crashes are under investigation by the Highway Patrol. A Sturgis man has been sentenced to 65 years in prison after earlier being convicted of 11 counts of felony crimes involving five different children. Here's Gary Matthews with the story. Lance Long, age 40, was sentenced Monday in Corson County. He had been convicted there by a Corson County jury on one count of second-degree rape, one count of third-degree rape, one count of fourth-degree rape, three counts of aggravated assault, and five counts of abuse of a minor. Long was sentenced to 50 years in prison on the rape and assault charges and 15 years on the various child abuse charges. In national and international news, the F-16 fighter jets that have been delivered to Kyiv by Western countries will be flying sorties in Ukrainian skies and helping the country's current fleet of Soviet-era jets to counter Russia's invasion. Analysts say the used F-16s will enhance Ukraine's military strength, especially by upgrading its air defenses. But they won't turn the tide of the war on their own. Ukraine faces a series of challenges using the complex F-16s and protecting them from Russian attacks when they are on the ground. The planes also require numerous support personnel. Ukrainian pilots have been on training courses in the U.S. and Europe. Russia will be looking to destroy the F-16s. Iran's Supreme Leader and Palestinian Militia representatives have prayed over the coffin of Hamas leader Ismail Hanya, who was killed in the shocking assassination blamed on Israel that risked escalating into an all-out regional war. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei prayed over Hanya's coffin at Tehran's university on Thursday while Iran's new president, Masoud Pashishkan, stood next to him. The funeral service was to continue in Tehran before the remains are transferred to Qatar for burial Friday. Iranian authorities have said his killing early Wednesday is under investigation, but haven't provided details. Israel had pledged to kill Hanya over Hamas leaders over the group's October 7th attack on southern Israel that sparked the war in Gaza. And as Vice President Kamala Harris prepares to announce her running mate, a poll finds several of the top contenders are largely unknown to voters. The Associated Press Center for Public Affairs Research Survey was conducted after President Joe Biden announced he was withdrawing from the race and Harris became the likely Democratic presidential nominee. The poll highlights the strengths and weaknesses different politicians could bring to the ticket. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly stands out as a prospect who has more name recognition and higher favorability. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro and others are less known nationally but could draw on a deeper well of support in their home states. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, hazy, hot, and 94. Overnight is 60. That was your Daily Slice for Thursday, August 1st of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose with Gary Matthews, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.